Again, we're praying prayers out of the Bible, and we want to do this because we believe that when we pray the Word of God, we're praying His will. That's why Jesus said, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. And so His will is His Word. And so that being said, we're going to be praying Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 through 11. And it says this, For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, praying for us, and ask that you, we, be filled with the knowledge of His will. Lord, we want to be filled with not the world's knowledge, not anybody else's knowledge, but Your knowledge, Lord. We thank You, Lord, that we acknowledge You in all of our ways and You direct our path. And this is the knowledge that we want to have, the knowledge of Your will in all wisdom. Lord, You said that if we ask for wisdom, that You'd give it to us and You wouldn't hold back. So we ask for wisdom. And You said also, while you're getting wisdom, get understanding. So we're saying this in all wisdom and spiritual understanding not understanding just the things of the world but understanding Lord that comes from you and here's the reason why father so that we may walk worthy of the Lord we want to walk worthy of you Lord we're not walking according to the ways of this world we're not walking according to the ways of their ways and what they think and how they come up with things we want to walk according to your will and according to your ways Matter of fact, Lord, your word says that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. And though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down because the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will uphold him with his hand. So we want to walk worthy of you, fully pleasing you. Lord, we're not trying to please man. We're not trying to please what they're doing and trying to please them in any way that they have. We want to be fully pleasing to you and being fruitful in every good work. Lord, we want the fruit of our work to be seen, not because we want people to look at us, but we want people to see you. When people see us, we want them to see you. So we want that fruit to work in our lives. And we're saying that not just for us, but for our spouses. Lord, I pray that over my wife. I pray that over my children. I pray that over my parents. I pray that over my co-workers. I pray that over the ones in my neighborhood, Lord, that there would be good work and fruit that would be seen and it would increase, Lord, they would increase in the knowledge of God. Lord, we don't want to increase in worldly wisdom. We don't want to increase in the things of the world, but we want to increase in the knowledge of God. And here's why. We want to be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power. And there is power, Lord. We said this before, there's power, power, wonder-working power that comes from your blood. It's in the blood of the Lamb. You've empowered us by your Spirit. It's that same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead that lives in us. And we thank you, Lord, that you're doing it. And for all patience, Lord, give us patience. I know that's a dangerous prayer, but I'm praying it over you. I'm praying it over my life. Give us patience when we're driving along, when we're working. Help us, Lord, to have patience. And along with that patience, Father, I'm asking, Lord, that you give us long suffering. Lord, that we would have long suffering for those that are around us, that we would see them the way you do. Give us eyes to see. Give us ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying, that we'd be long suffering. And Lord, we would do it not complaining, because sometimes we would like to complain. We don't want to complain. We want to have patience, and we want to have long suffering, but we want to do it with joy. And we declare, Lord, over our lives, over our family's lives, Lord, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Strengthen us, God. Lord, as we pray these prayers, we know that you're going to answer them because you wrote them. We didn't even make these prayers up, God. You said it. And because you said it, that settles it. We believe it and we know it's done. And we thank you, Lord, that we're going to see results and we have faith. Let faith arise. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. As we pray these prayers, we believe this that the effectual, fervent prayers of a righteous man or woman avails much. And we're gonna avail much because we're praying your prayers and we thank you, Lord, for it. Help us to go out and be the church to the unchurched. In Jesus' name, amen.